am a mocha mom and I am back to respond to Tiny Berry who has three-year-old twins, a boy and a girl who are out of control. They do what they please no matter what mom or dad have to say about it. Yet when they get to daycare, the boy is perfect in his behavior and the girl, she's just starting to be rude to her teachers. Mom and dad have different discipline styles. Mom wants to talk and reason with the twins. Dad gives them three warnings, then it's a spanking to bed or time out. Mom wants to know, is it my fault? What am I doing wrong? Are there methods of discipline I should be using? And is the school a bad influence on the daughter? What I want to say in love is that, yes, I do believe it's you, your fault and your fault and your husband's fault because you have to present a united front to your children. You two have to agree on what method of discipline you are going to use. I don't believe there's a magic form of discipline that's going to wipe out all the problems that you're having. But at least you and your husband have to show your children if mom says it, it's going to happen. If dad said it, it's going to happen. And if you two don't really understand what's going on and you have some problems, at least get out of the presence of little Johnny and little Jenna. You two can duke it out and figure out what you're going to do, but don't do it in front of the kids. Because children, even really young children, will learn really quick who to play against who because they really just want their way. And I have to tell you, mom, that you're not going to be able to reason with a three-year-old, with three-year-olds. Their, their logical reasoning skills are very limited. They could understand some very basic things. But I know as parents, we tend to want to go on this whole long explanation about why they shouldn't do this and that as if it, the next time they're presented with the situation, they're going to sit there and think through, hmm, I really shouldn't do this. This is not good for my health. I might get hurt if I do this. I need to turn around. They want what they want right now. So whatever course of action you take has to be very simple and very clear. And that's why spanking is really effective at that age because everybody understands pain. And I'm not talking about go get a switch off the tree. Go get the extension cord. Go get my baseball bat. I'm going to hit you and hit you and hit you and hit you until I'm not frustrated anymore. There's a biblical and very disciplined and controlled way to discipline your kids when using spanking. Get on the same page with your husband. And I think your daughter, with being rude to your teacher, perhaps her personality is a little bit different and she's testing the waters a little bit. And also, I notice with my kids, they imitate a lot of how I deal with conflict in your disagreeing with your husband. If you're coming back strong at him, she could be modeling that as well. Not to blame you, but it's just something to consider. However we want them to be is how we ourselves should be behaving so that they can imitate something good. So this was short and sweet, but I think it's the solution to your problem is really very simple. Come up with a plan. Stick to it, be consistent, and be encouraged. There are only three. You've got plenty of time to turn this around. So I hope that helps. Be blessed.